Hi there. What we're going to do is finish up our expressionism portrait uh, by designing the shirt. So I showed you last week how to do the facial features like the eyes and the mouth. And you're using colors that wouldn't normally go in those areas like on the lips and the eyeballs. Then I showed you how to put three different colors in the hair, darks, mediums, and lights. And now I'm going to show you how to put a pattern design in the shirt. So what I did before I started this video is I already started to design by putting in repeated shapes and lines. And what I'm going to do now is do a pattern of colors. So when you look at a lot of shirts, you're going to see different patterns inside the shirts. And that's what makes a shirt kind of stand out from others when you're shopping on a rack. And I want you to use a lot of different colors. I want you to use repeated shapes of your own uh, choosing. And then you're going to be filling in all of the white spots. So I noticed right here I need a little bit more of that purple diamond right there. So I'm going to take my blue now and I'm going to fill this in with my dark blue. I think this might be indigo. Okay. And you're going to make sure that you cover everything. So after I get done with the shirt, I have to start to color in the collar. Okay. And I'm going to do a fade of different colors in the collar. So let's pretend that I have the entire shirt on both sides filled in and I just have the collar left. What I could do now is maybe put in light blue right here and then I'm going to lighten up and I'll put in a light green and then I'm going to lighten up and put in a darker green. Okay, because again, I don't want to use red because I used red for the skin, and then it's going to look like skin if I put the red on the red. Okay, so I would do the same thing on this side, and then that would finish up my project. So have fun, and happy designing.